Right, let's talk about New Zealand's employer accreditation scheme. This one's a game changer for businesses wanting to tap into a wider talent pool of skilled migrant workers. But of course, there's a bit of paperwork and bureaucracy involved. By the way, we have a full article on this topic, so please check it out. I'll drop the link in the description below. To get on board, first, you need to become an accredited employer. And what does that mean? Essentially, you have to prove to Immigration New Zealand that you're not running some dodgy operation out of a shed. You need to show you're a genuine, viable business. That means profitability, positive cash flow, sufficient capital, the works. If you're operating on a wing and a prayer, best sort that out first. Once you've ticked the viability box, you need to prove you're compliant with immigration and employment laws. No key personnel on the Labour Inspectorate's stand-down list. That's non-negotiable. For those involved in triangular employment, there are extra hopes to jump through. Because why make it simple? So what's in it for you? Well, becoming accredited opens up access to a larger pool of skilled workers, makes a visa application process smoother, and lets you retain these workers for up to five years. It's not just about plugging holes in your workforce. It's about positioning yourself as an employer of choice. Imagine that, a reputation for ethical hiring practices, revolutionary. Now the accreditation process. You'll need all your ducks in a row. Business registration proof, IRD number, NZBN, and key personnel details with their consent. Select the accreditation type that fits your needs, whether you're hiring up to five migrants or need a high volume setup. And if you're placing workers with third party organizations, that's another layer of complexity. You apply online, pay the fee, which by the way, is not pocket change, and then wait. Immigration New Zealand will take up to eight weeks to process your application. Upon approval, your accreditation will last for either 12 or 24 months, depending on your specifics. You'll need to renew before it expires, keeping all your documentation and compliance up to date. Being an accredited employer isn't just about hiring migrants. It's about ensuring fair treatment, verifying qualifications, covering recruitment costs, and providing settlement support. You've got to keep detailed records, pay market rates, and make sure these workers are getting at least 30 hours a week. Miss any of these obligations, and you risk having your accreditation revoked. And if you find it too overwhelming to deal with it on your own, it really pays to get an experienced immigration lawyer like us on board. We have helped many clients over the years to ensure they're on the right path and full and proper legal representation from us might be just what you need. The whole process is a bit of a marathon, but if you're serious about filling those gaps in your workforce with skilled migrant workers, it's the way to go. And let's be honest, in today's market, can you afford not to be an accredited employer? Contact us today to get the process started. And that's our tip of the day. Do follow and subscribe to ensure you are up to date on New Zealand immigration law. Ka kite anō.